In the previous video of this series, we used Helium 10 Black Box to uncover product ideas in our target categories. Now we'll use Cerebro to figure out where sales are coming from for these recommended products. First, export the list of saved products from Black Box. If you're just finding this video and you don't have a list, we simply narrowed down potential products using Black Box, checked the boxes of the products that met the criteria I mentioned in the previous video, and added them to my list. I linked the previous video in the description below in case you missed it. Export your list as a CSV and open in Excel or Google Sheets. You should have a pretty good idea of the different types of products showing up here in your list. For me, one of them is travel golf bags. Create a filter and filter by a core product identifying keyword like travel bag. I can see from my list, all of these products are travel golf bags. Copy the list of ASINs. If you have more than 10 in your list, sort your list by the top sellers and then copy the top 10. Cerebro only lets you do a max of 10 products at a time, that's why I'm saying that. Back in Helium 10, navigate to Cerebro. This tool allows us to do what we call a reverse ASIN lookup. You can do this one competitor at a time or in bulk like I'm going to do. We can paste in the ASINs and see all the keywords these products are ranking for on Amazon. Click get keywords. When you scroll down on the page, you can see all the keywords associated with all the ASINs in your list. This data tells us where most of these product sales are coming from, which allows us to focus on specific keywords or essentially the problem and solution customers are searching for related to the product idea. And if we think logically, the problem our ideal customer has for this product is they are likely traveling to a golfing destination and need a safe, affordable way to protect or transport their clubs. Let's figure out what people are typing into Amazon to find their solution. In this table, there are a lot of columns of data. Before we analyze this, let me highlight the most important metrics here or columns in less than 60 seconds. Keyword sales, the estimated number of sales driven by this keyword. Cerebro IQ score, a proprietary score indicating the balance between search volume and competition. Higher scores suggest better opportunities. Search volume, the average monthly search volume for the keyword on Amazon. Search volume trend, the pattern of changes in search volume over time, showing growth or decline. Helium 10 PPC suggested bid. This is Helium 10's suggested bid for Amazon PPC campaigns targeting this specific keyword. Sponsored ASINs, the number of ASINs appearing in the sponsored product ads for this keyword. Competing products, the total number of listings competing for this keyword. CPR, the number of units you need to sell in eight days to rank on the first page for this keyword. Title density, the number of competing listings that include this keyword in their product title. And again, lower numbers suggest less competition. Competitor rank average, the average ranking of competitor products for this keyword. The ranking competitors count. This is the total number of competitors ranking for this keyword. Competitor Competitor performance score, this is a score indicating how well competitors perform using this keyword, so a higher score could mean more competition. Here's a pro tip. If you export the data to Excel, you'll get a lot more columns, including ranking data for individual ASINs here in your list. Now, back in Cerebro, there are some filters that are quite helpful. The first is opportunity keywords. When you select that, the list below will refresh and only show keywords that meet the criteria in the filters. By default, I'm now seeing keywords with at least 500 monthly searches, where at least one, but no no more than two of my competitors rank in the top 15. It's also limiting keywords where my competition is performing relatively poorly for those keywords. These are keywords to consider in your listing and offer creation for the product. This list of keywords can be a great opportunity for you to come in and get sales because these competitors are overlooking these keywords. The other filter I like here is top keywords. This shows by default the keywords where at least six competitors in my list are ranking in the top 40 positions. So this tells me that a lot of the competitors are doing well with these keywords, so I should also be able to do well. Let's get more advanced, shall we? I want to know if this golf travel bag is a viable product based on how the competitors are doing with these keywords. First, let's filter by the phrase travel bag because that seems to be a top keyword based on what we're seeing so far. Let's do a search volume minimum of 500. Now my list is dialed in. If I sort by keyword sales, I can see it's estimated that a large number of sales come from travel bag and golf travel bag. And if we scroll over, we see that there's a lot of competing products for travel bag, obviously because there could be travel bags that are unrelated to golf. And the title density for those top two search terms is pretty high. That means a lot of the products have that keyword in the title. So they're trying to rank for that search term with SEO. Let's go through a filter for title density. 
Let's do a max of four. This means that of all the products appearing on page one of Amazon for this search term, only four of the listings or less have the exact keyword in their title. So look at this keyword, golf club travel bag. The competing products isn't crazy, but only four listings are using that keyword in their title. That's a huge opportunity to come in and utilize that keyword better than the competition to rank in the search results. You can do the same exercise, but change the data points for phrase keywords, title density, search volume, and whatever else. What you need to understand is the goal here. The goal is to focus in on a list of keywords that one, have opportunities that your competitors are slacking on. Two, are proven to work for most of your competitors, so they should work for you. And three, guide you to customize your product or offer based on what the customers are searching for. Now, as you find and identify these keywords, check the box and add them to my list. Reminder to get 20% off Helium 10 in the description if you haven't already. Again, that is my affiliate link, so I do appreciate you for using that. I've also got the other freebie downloads for you in case you missed them from videos one and two in this series. In the next video, we'll take these keywords and dig a bit deeper into the entire market on amazon.com. We'll use a tool called X-Ray to see under the skin of all the products in the Amazon search results and reveal the bones of their sales. We'll see you there.